We are on kick. K-I-C-K dot But by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And might I just say, my ring light, I finally got it to the right optimal brightness. And it's given melanin God. My bad. Um... This channel above, if you missed the live, it'll be there. Um, we also got, you know, good merch. We're good merch on deck. Ooh. Didn't mean to leave that up. And we also got the Discord and the Patreon as well. You know what I'm saying? This is which violent gangs control the UK? Peter Blacksley lifts the lid on gangland Britain. Okay. September. Let's see what this is all about. Whilst the bombs might not be going off anymore, rest assured the gangs still operate and their grip on the criminality is an iron one, a vice like grip, and they're not about to loosen it anytime soon. Never heard of dude. I don't even know how I found this, honestly. Somebody probably sent it. My name is Peter Blexley. I'm a former Scotland Yard detective. The majority of my career was dedicated to tackling serious and organised crime. From London to Lancashire and from Devon to Dundee, there are gangs operating in the UK, and quite simply, they are a danger oh, he, this, to us all. You said this is the one, one of the ones that really know what's going on? Oh, what's good, Randy? <clears throat> the <coughs> makeup. Oh my God. A piece of pepper just slid down my throat. <coughs> oh. Of gangs in London has changed dramatically in the last few decades. Now, Albanian gangs are prevalent. One of them calls themselves Helbanians. <laughs> my bad, my bad. That's funny they put the music video in there. Oh my God. You're gonna have so many people, <laughs> you're gonna have so many people associating music videos with gang members, which is maybe the case, but now it's for sure the case if anybody's watching. Selves, Helbanians. <laughs> and they've got a firm grip on the cocaine trade in London, which is estimated to be as much as five billion pounds. Allegedly have a firm grip. Violence, torture, murder, the tools of their trade, and they have a vice-like grip on some of the nighttime economy. They are very much a new and present threat. Back in the 80s and the 90s, the Adams family were very prominent in organized crime. And basically, they ruled the roost. In the end, their downfall was brought about by the security services. And it had to be them because the Adams family had corrupted so many police officers. Whilst the Adams family is always brought up in the criminal underworld, especially in um, Scotland. Their influence well, may have is. diminished. Every time somebody in Scotland they talks, they still remain Scottish. Concerned. Six foot five, David Hunt will tell you that he's a legitimate businessman. However, courageous journalists took a case against David Hunt all the way to the High Court, where it was eventually ruled by a senior judge that Hunt is very much a gangster and very much embroiled in serious and organized crime. He lives in a huge property mm. and enjoys the lifestyle that many of us could only dream of. See? 
Bro out there living like Dracula. This looks like Dracula's estate. I'm going crazy. And enjoys the lifestyle that many of us could only dream of. But rest assured, he's a crook and he's got a lot of fingers in a lot of pies. Youth. Fingers in a lot of pies. What about this? American pie? I'm talking Stifler? Violence and youth gangs is a tremendous problem. And there has been an unacceptable tide of teenage bloodshed flowing through the streets of our great capital city. The commodity that they're most interested in okay. is, of course, drugs. Oh. It's complex, it's dangerous, and it's a huge issue for law enforcement. Gangs are such a problem in the nation's second city. Birmingham that the serious crime squad has doubled in size recently. There are about 40 gangs, apparently, operating in that city with a pretty tight yeah. grip on a lot of the criminality. Gangs in Birmingham can't... I don't know, who is this? I don't remember him in Peaky Blinders. Kind of came to notoriety through the Peaky Blinders television show. Gangs like the 247365 and the Burger Boys are very well known. In fact, their tag, their graffiti tag, can still be seen quite prominently around the Midlands. Some of these gangs have links to the Kinnahan family. Mm, Kinnahan family who also have links to boxing. Who originate from Ireland. The Birmingham gangs, like so many of the others throughout the country, predominantly operate Good. in drugs. But there's a lot of other criminality that they get involved in. People trafficking, the sex industry, fraud, stealing of high value motor vehicles. They are a considerable threat. Liverpool's W editing, my bad. Paul is now renowned as a significant city in which gangs operate and through which much of the drugs industry. of the UK is linked. At the lower level, street level, there are gangs like the Crocker Crew, they're out of Crockstiff, and the boys from Norris Green, which is known locally as the Nogger, and many others, Stockbridge Village, and I could- Shout out to Northern Monkey. Go on. They are responsible for a lot of bloodshed, tit for tat killings, where people have fought over territory. Innocent people get caught up in the gunfire, in the turf battles, and so often, entirely innocent people lose their lives. The most true. Yeah, because they can't defend themselves. That's how the laws and rules and regulations are set up, where the innocent cannot defend themselves against criminals if they so happen to be caught in the crosshair. Tragic example of gang's activity landing on the streets of Liverpool was the tragic murder last year of nine-year-old yeah. Olivia Pratt Corbell. R.I.P. Olivia Pratt Corbell, man. Her death was a direct result of criminal gangs having a fallout and carrying out their retribution on Is the streets the one where they won the of house, that right? great city. A purely innocent nine-year-old girl got caught in the crossfire and tragically lost her life. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best... I like this guy. Because there's no, like, he's not... 
He's not pushing narratives. He doesn't have an agenda that is not supported by fact. He's not making shit up. Like he knows, like you like you said, he knows what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? That reaches Megley lost her life. The word on the street that reaches me is that the Manchester gangs are the most feared of all. There was, of course, in recent times, the A-team, led by Paul Massey. He lost his life. There was, of course, the anti-A-team, which sprung up from a dispute among A-team members. Their falling out led to bloodshed and loss of life. Civil. I operated undercover against a gang in Manchester, and I have to say, they were the most fearsome that I came across. When I went for a meeting, there was always a nine millimeter pistol on the table, pointing at me, just in case I should get ideas above my station, I would imagine. There's other notorious gangs, the Cheatham Hill Gang, uh, the Gooch Gang, and the Pepper Hill Mob, all of them scrapping over territory, protecting their interests, and swift to use violence if the need arises. He said he walked away from the cops because he was angry with corruption. It's cool, man, because he's, he's basically fighting two battles. You know what I'm saying? A battle on the streets and then a battle inside where he can't even, you know what I'm saying, identify who's on what team, who's on what team. Northern Ireland is almost unique in the UK. Most of its criminality has been driven by sectarian disputes over the years. Mm -hmm. Catholics versus Protestants. Although it is, of course, 25 years since a Good Friday Agreement was signed and a lot of the terrorism activity has faded away. And whilst thankfully the bombs and the bullets are largely a thing of the past, the drug dealing continues. The Kinnahan family, or the Kinnahan clan, as many call them, have earned their reputation over the years, and it is undeniable that their tentacles of criminality stretch far and wide. That's one thing about the UK, man. Y'all whole y'all whole gang is a whole like different look than like American gangsters. Like we don't even know. Like you don't even know like like what to be looking for out there. Like out here, you know, there's kind of like a stereotype, which is kind of it. it it's mostly true, you know, how gangsters look out here. But like out there, like an American wouldn't even know what to look for. You know what I'm saying? Wide through to Spain. Unless you like in a, obviously there's some, but like not all. Other parts of Europe, across the Atlantic and beyond. That is why the US authorities have put such huge rewards up for the capture of a number of them. Five million dollars for each of them. I would suggest, if you do know where one of the Kinnahans is that he's wanted. Trick. I'd take the money if I were you. Not so many years ago, Glasgow had a dreadful reputation as being an extremely violent city. A lot of people have done a lot of work to reduce the violence, but gangs, of course, do still operate. I remember when I first started doing this UK reactions, man, I heard of something called a Glasgow send-off, and I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Still shocking till this day. There's the Lions and the Daniels families. Two gangs that have had disputes stretching back over many years. And like these last four dudes they just showed, you wouldn't even suspect them. Like, you look right past them. Like. What happens within gangs? They cannot take their disputes to the court. They can't get a solicitor to write a letter. They have to resort to violence. It's their currency, no matter where these gangs may operate. And that, my dear friends, is why gang membership should be swerved at all costs. For the past 50 years, 
in terms of tackling criminal yeah, gangs. Yeah, nothing wrong. Swerve it. We've done exactly the same thing again and again and again and achieved very little indeed. Unfortunately, the police gave up patrolling the streets a long time ago because they're too busy going from one 99 call to the next 999 call with the blue lights flashing and the sirens wailing. Those streets have been taken over in many, many places in the UK by gangs. It's their territory. They rule the roost. Consequently, there is an obligation upon us all to keep ourselves safe and sound. I'm glad he said it like that. Keep ourselves safe and sound. You ain't lying, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Remember, keep yourself safe and sound and mind your business. You'll live a long life.